what is up guys welcome back to the channel back with another unboxing for you guys today we're going to unbox the 4k screen factory release of krampus which should be in this box stick around to find out if it's in here Alright guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Yes, back with another unboxing and going to try to do a menu screen for you guys on this one. I haven't done that in a while. Uh, be kind of tricky this time. My TV's up a little bit higher, different position than it was before. Uh, but I'm going to attempt it for you guys because I know some of you like seeing the menu screen and stuff. And I'll let you guys know what I think of the quality off the bat just by skimming through on this 4K release. Uh, before we get rolling, if you guys would, hit that like, hit that subscribe if you haven't already. Drop down in the description box, follow me on the other uh, outlets, the TikTok, the Instagram, uh, Twitter, all that good stuff. Amazon wishlist on there, Patreon uh, link on there if you guys are interested in joining that. And uh, yeah, let's dive into this thing. I haven't even pre-opened it yet. I, I actually meant to do that, but uh, forgot. So let's uh, open it up together. Try not to waste too much time. That would have definitely saved some. I'm always afraid to cut too deep. I don't want to damage anything, but it's like we're good. All right, your shop factory paper as per usual. All right, there's our poster, which we'll take a gander at here in just a few. Yes, I said gander because I'm old. That's how we talk. And here is our 4K. I wish they would put this in those bubble, you know, uh, Meller things like Diabolic uses and other companies and just slide it in the little bubble wrap thing. But here is our Blu-ray. Make sure there's nothing, oh, or our 4K, sorry. Uh, make sure there's no other. Sorry for the noise, but you never know. Maybe they'll throw in an extra goodie, right? Yeah, because Shout Factory is not money hungry. Uh, looks like we got a little something on here I don't know what it is but uh, I'll mess with that later if it's a sticker residue or something anyways uh, here we go with the artwork kind of wish I would have done that in black and just like done that part in silver where it says 4k just made it all black but anyways that's just a minor uh, gripe but uh, of course I have to rock the Krampus shirt from Fright Rags as well uh, yeah let's check this thing out and then go over the features and uh then go over to the tv for the menu screen let's see what we got inside here uh no loose disc or anything that's good let's see if there's a uh replacement program for this uh coming up all right open this up you get your blu-ray and your 4k both with different art I'm assuming the original art underneath. Let's flip that around. There we go. That's what's on the Blu-ray that we all, well, not all, but some of us have now. So we'll go ahead and go with that one. Pretty recent release to be getting a collector's edition, but uh, we didn't have this on 4K yet, right? I don't believe, at least not here in the States. There is your reverse art. All right, let's go over the features of Krampus 4K, the Naughty Cut. All right, disc one, uh, the 4K, new Dolby Atmos uh, mix, uh, audio commentary with director, co-writer Michael Dottery, and co-writers Todd Casey and Zach Shields. Uh, the Blu-ray, you get new Dolby Atmos mix, new interviews with Michael Dottery, or Daugherty, nah, I can't say names. Visual effects, artists Richard Taylor, actors Allison Tolman, David uh, Koshner, and MJ Anthony, co-writer, co-producer, Todd Casey, and more. Audio commentary with Michael Daugherty, Todd Casey, and Zach Shields. Alternate ending, deleted extended scenes, gag reel, Krampus Comes Alive, five-part uh, featurette including Daugherty's vision, the naughty ones meet the cast, Krampus and his minions, Practical Danger, and Inside the Snow Globe, 
uh, production design. Behind the scenes at Weta Workshop, Krampus, still gallery, theatrical trailer, and TV spots. So it looks like the only thing new for features is the Adobe Atmos mix and um, some interviews on here, which is good enough for me. Um, I mean, the original release was pretty packed full of features. And of course, this being the uh, Naughty Cut, let's see if it says anything. I don't remember what the, um, I guess, uh, the director's cut, in other words. Uh, disc 1, 4K, uh, Adobe Atmos 5.1 Stereo. Uh, disc 2, Blu-ray, 1080, both in the 240 aspect ratio, uh, both having the Adobe Atmos and the 5.1 uh, stereo mix. And, yeah, from 2015, 102 minutes. Cool, cool, cool. Let's take a look at the poster. Uh, I forgot to show the poster on um, for all the Halloweens, so I felt kind of bad about that. Uh, I meant to go back and do it, but uh, I just didn't make it <laughs> that far so uh, see if I can do this without ripping this poster all right because I've done that once fortunately I was able to get another one all right come on I'm trying to be gentle because I do actually want to hang this one up um, especially around the holidays so here we go with the poster very very awesome of course just the artwork of the slip the newly commissioned art that is going to look so awesome hung up framed and everything it seems to be damage free There's a little bit of creasing around the edges but you won't see it once it's hung up definitely don't have enough room for all the posters so i'm going to be changing them out uh, during seasons and things like that there we go and there we go. All right. <laughs> Let's head over to the TV and uh, pop in the 4K. Uh, I'll let you guys know what I think of the quality compared to the Blu-ray and everything. And uh, we'll be back. Will, it's just me. You, you know what I mean. We'll, I'll be back. All right, guys. So here's the 4K. All we have on here is play, chapters, and setup. Go into setup. You have your Adobe Atmos option here your 5.1 master audio, and your audio commentary with uh, co-writer Michael Daughtry and co-writers Todd Casey and Zach Shields. So nothing really for features on this one as we already went over by the slip. Sorry for the angle. Again, I have to hold the, my phone up pretty high to uh, get this, but we'll go ahead and hit play for just a second. So I can see what the quality is like. If you haven't seen this movie, uh, I apologize in advance, but I just want to see um, a little bit of it. So let's just skip forward just a tad. I don't want to give too much away. All right. Definitely looks nice and sharp. I see no issues thus far. Very, very clear image. Of course, it's a newer movie, so it's going to look great um, even on the Blu-ray. You know, I'm not going to go too far. And I'm sitting pretty close to my 77 inch TV and it's looking pretty damn sharp. So, all right, let's head over to the Blu-ray. All right, guys, here we are on the Blu-ray. I figured I'd let the uh, intro for Screen Factory, Shout Factory load up just in case anyone missed seeing that. <laughs> All right, so you got play, chapter, setup, and bonus setup on here. Same thing as the 4K, the Adobe Atmos 5.1, and the commentary. Nothing different on that. And then your bonus, your interviews, Krampus Comes Alive, five-part documentary, behind the scenes at the Weta Workshop, deleted, extended scenes, gag reel, alternate ending, theatrical trailer, and galleries. Let's see what happens if we click on that. Okay. Uh, this is the interviews, uh, Daughtry's Vision, the Naughty Ones, Meet the Cast, Krampus and His Minions, Practical Danger, Inside the Snow Globe Production Design. I always like to see what it says on the actual disc as well because sometimes there's features on here that are not listed on the slip because they'll make the uh, slip in advance before everything's finalized. Had that happen quite a few times with uh, especially Screen Factory releases. 
All right, let me skim through this a little bit, see if I notice any difference between this and the 4K. Um, it does seem a little bit duller than the 4K, not quite as vibrant, but still pretty damn good. So if you guys aren't 4K yet and you collect Screen Factory, the Blu-ray on this looks great. Um, let's forward a little bit here. Again, I mean, it doesn't pop quite as much as the 4K, but still pretty damn close. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this movie. Are you guys fans of Krampus? Um, I'd like to see a sequel, like a legit sequel. I know there's a bunch of uh, knockoff Krampus movies like at Walmart on DVD, but uh, uh, an actual sequel to this one would be great, you know, high budget and all that. All right, I will catch you guys on the next video. As always, peace, love, happiness to all of you, and uh, later.